Right now, though, it's time time for another Hall of Fame edition of CA Stories Confidential with the three-time Hall of Famer, Chris Arnold. Appreciate you, KG. Appreciate you, Ross. More importantly, appreciate all the Tolos for uh, letting me have an interesting life and an interesting career. I've always said this when I do the CA Stories Confidential. And part of having an interesting career is getting an opportunity, knock on wood. They let me go with them, Dallas Mavericks, to the Middle East, to Abu Dhabi where they played the NBA Global Games, two games against the Minnesota Timberwolves, and they also had a, uh, oh, there's no CA Stories Confidential Music. Ross doesn't know how to do that. That's oh, okay. It's his maiden voyage in the uh, CA Stories That's Confidential. okay. Just give me some music underneath it. He doesn't have my CA Stories, but that's okay. So anyway, uh, um, they played Minnesota Timberwolves two games. One was a home game for the Mavericks, one home game for the Minnesota Timberwolves, and then we had a Friday game or a, a event fan appreciation which was like nba all-star weekend uh all-star saturday we have the three-point shootout the slam dunk competition the skill sets all those things and they asked me and the minnesota timberwolves mc john barry to co-host all of these things and so i was glad to be there i was there sean heath the marriage pa announcer the excellent sean heath the great sean heath shippy the dj also um, Jonathan Kornblith, Ryan Rosenbaum, and Melissa from our Game Ops crew, vice president and director, etc. And of course, Champ, about the mascot Champ, Mazman did not get to make it. Oh, Mazman had to stay home, huh? Everybody couldn't go. <laughs> <laughs> took a couple of maniacs. Had to some, make some roster cuts. Mazman, you got to stay at home. Exactly. You know, he's going to get plenty of face time so throughout funny. the season. I swear to God. You know, the Mavericks. Uh, the mascots and the fun slingers, they have these t-shirt cannons where they shoot out these t-shirts. Right. How come there was a little situation at the uh, airport when they were trying to bring those in? Oh, no. Uh, excuse me. Sorry. Uh, uh, customs. Customs. Uh, uh, could you come uh, check this hey, out, please? Explain what these weapons are. <laughs> but anyway, the whole trip was just absolutely amazing. I yeah. cannot even say enough. Uh, I took a whole bunch of pictures. I put it, put it on my social media on Twitter at Mr. Chris Arnold and on Facebook at Mr. Chris Arnold at Chris Arnold in Dallas and you can see all the pictures because the pictures I can't even describe half the stuff that went on it was just absolutely amazing between those games and I can say this the United Arab Emirates is one of the wealthiest countries in the world and the technology is through the roof it's in incredible talk about being ahead of everything and they got the money everything was QR code Everything was first class because this very spent. I mean, everything is wealthy over there. It's kind of like you know, Abu Dhabi is the sister city of Dubai. It's the capital of UAE, and it's right there on the per Persian Gulf, and it's in the desert. But desert heat, no problem. They got everything's air conditioned. All the nice new buildings. They had this this mosque, this grand mosque, two billion dollar mosque that took years to be built. It had pieces of stuff and artwork from all over the world. 83 domes on it with gold crest coins on top and Italian ice. Mm -hmm. I mean, Italian glass. That was just one of the things they had over there. And you saw, we, went, we had a, a desert Arabian night kind of a deal where we had this big meal and rode camels. And I mean, all the players, the Mavic players, talk about bonding. They totally enjoyed that trip. Sometimes, you know, you go to group. I, I was unfortunate enough to travel with the Cowboys to London twice, Tokyo twice, Vancouver, Toronto, Mexico City. Sometimes you just don't want to go. The Mavericks loved that trip. Mm -hmm. They were all having a great time together. Um, it was fun riding a camel. Yeah. I got to, uh, you know, I told you I, 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 I like hanging, doing kind of under different dangerous stuff. They had uh, the hunting falcon. Had that, you know, I perched on my arm. Right, right, right. And one of those owls. And and the funnest, coolest, craziest part to me. I mean, the hotel is just unbelievable. Every, everything was just, just, you just can't get that. The NBA and the Mavericks and the Timberwolves, they all went all in. The the Our hosts of, in Abu Dhabi, they went all in. And the people of Abu Dhabi was absolutely nice and wonderful. Just People from all over the world, and they are huge basketball fans. So during the games, they had 
you know, I mentioned the different things, but they also had um, some stars. Backstreet Boys, AJ McLean, he's there. He's doing the karaoke for the crowd singing, I want it that way. <laughs> Tell me why. I mean, ball kids from the Middle East know the song. I was like, look at this whole crowd going crazy. Tell me why. <laughs> and he's saying the place goes nuts. Mm -hmm. The baby was there. I don't know what the hell the baby was there. Because he could. Because he could. Yeah. Somebody said he's in his uh, rehab Im uh, image tour because he was out in Colorado with Dion for a minute. Remember mm -hmm. that? I'm a little baby fan myself, not the baby. Yeah. The baby's music all sound the same to me. <laughs> um, it had some NBA legends there, and I'll tell you who they are in a second. But um, I was shocked the first game. I'm emceeing the game. During the one of timeouts, the, the house lights were up. I look over there and on the front row is my guy, Steve Harvey. Yeah. And I've been knowing Steve forever. In fact, for those who are old enough to know, Steve Harvey used to come to Dallas all the time, play the improv. He was always so popular. We had him on K104 all the time. Somebody gave him his own comedy club. It's called the Steve Harvey Comedy Club. He used to also play this club called Vuku Rec. On Thursday night, it was amateur night. And Steve asked me to host his, to MC his amateur night. And so we just hang out at the club on Thursday night, shut it down all the time. So I go, I know Steve all these years, but I hadn't seen him in a while. Yeah. I look over there and there he is sitting courtside. So at halftime, I go over there and say, Steve Harvey, what the hell you, Chris Arnold, light skin, good hair, Chris Arnold, what you <laughs> doing? My man, what you doing over here? And so we give, he gives me this big old hug. Man, you know, it's on social media, yeah. Man, we were just so glad to see each other. And I started talking to him. I said, what are you doing over here, man? What are you doing? This, is this, is this game in Dubai? He said, Chris, dog, I done moved to Abu Dhabi. I said, you moved here? I live here. I said, how you do your TV shows? You live in Abu Dhabi. I tape, I tape them in bunches. And half the year, I come over here, man. It's just nice over here. man. I got a mansion. I said, no, you got a temple. <laughs> <laughs> they, he is I feel like set, you're breaking news right now is what you're doing. He is set up. I had no idea that he lived in Abu Dhabi. He said like his that. granddaughter was born over here, over there, his family's over here. So I'm over there talking to him. And while I'm talking to him, and my, mind you, it's halftime. All of a sudden, I call him the old heads because I know these guys too. All these legends that were in for the game. The NBA got him in there for the game. Kareem Abdul Jabbar, Gary Payton. Um, Ray Allen, Tim Hardaway Sr., mm -hmm. Sean Marion, Sam Perkins. They were all there. I didn't know Kareem was there. Yeah, Kareem was there. Got oh, the wow. biggest ovation of all, of course. I'm sure, yeah. They come over there because I know them, but they want to meet Steve. Some of them have ne never met him. We're all, it's like a big old, man, what you doing? Abby? Man, we all here in Abu Dhabi. We all here together. So it was like a little party going on with just us right there courtside. And then I'm getting ready to leave. I said, I got to get ready for the third quarter. I'm getting ready to walk away from them. Here comes Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> and so I don't know Michael B. Jordan, but we have a mutual friend. There's a buddy of mine from Dallas named Jared Einstein. And Jared went to Hollywood to try to be a movie star. He's been in some movies, but he's not a star. He's just been out there working, you mm -hmm. know. And I used to play pickup basketball with him all the time. And he's, when he'd come back home, he said, Chris, you'll never guess who my best friend is out there. I said, who? Michael B. Jordan. I said, really? He goes, oh, yeah, man. I keep telling Michael, you got to come home to Dallas and, and hang out. And I'll introduce you to him sometime. So as soon as I saw Michael B. Jordan, I said, Michael, you and I have a mutual friend, Jared. You play pickup basketball with him with the NBA Entertainment League in L.A. He goes, that's my guy. I said, that's my guy too. Because man, Jared's got the nicest family, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And so he said, you should send him a, a, a selfie. So I took a selfie because Michael B. Jordan wanted me to take the selfie. And I sent it to Jared and I texted him right there, just right there in the third uh -huh. quarter. He said, What are you guys doing in Abu Dhabi? I mean, it was just the craziest moment. And by the way, after I talked to Michael, that's when he goes over to see Steve. You know he was dating Lori Harvey. Uh, right. That was the first time. So that made all the tabloids. And I was right there. He was right there, yeah. I was right there. Michael B. Jordan, Steve Harvey, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Oh, yeah. 
How come Re- Ahmad Rashad showed up too? Ahmad Rashad oh, I was know. there. Ahmad was there. He was there. Too. I've been knowing him for years too. I know. I, I saw Gary Payton was right there. Yes. Next to everybody as well. Yeah, Gary was sitting over there with Steve. Yeah. It, it was so crazy. I, I Chris, I, I need the book, damn it. I need I know the book. All those guys. Oh, my goodness. And we would just kumbaya and like I, a moment. It looked like it. It was just, and, it, and we like, it's because, like, what are we doing at Abu Dhabi? I can't believe this is going on. Did you ride it on the Splinter, that Maybach Splinter? You know what the Maybach Splinter is? That's okay. You know how they have an airport shuttle or mm-hmm. hotel shuttle? It can hold me about 20, 25 people, 30 people, where it's not a full bus. It's a, they call those splinters. Well, over here in the United States, it's like a car, or whatever, Ford, whatever. I mean, every now and then you might get a, a, a Mercedes. They had Maybach splinters. Maybach. <laughs> Bugattis. I mean, it was like wealthy nation over there. And the food was just absolutely delicious. People were texting me or, you know, posted back to me, hey, did you try any food? I did. They, first of all, they had American food. They had Italian food. They had Middle Eastern food that was really good. They had this thing called a date cake that was really good. Mm-hmm. They had all kinds. They did not have pork. I could understand. They don't play that. Yeah. They had turkey bacon. They had chicken hamburgers. They had also they had, they had everything you can imagine. I did not make it to Dubai. Some people went over to Dubai. Okay. Because it's only an hour away. It's like driving down to Waco. Okay. I didn't make it over to Dubai because I was so busy. We were doing rehearsals and stuff too. But it was a trip of a lifetime. Did not go to uh, Madrid because Madrid, Real Madrid, that was their home game. Mm-hmm. You don't take your MC on the road for your own team. Mavericks were the road team for Madrid. So I came back uh, first class, flying first class on Qatar Airlines, which is the best in the world. Oh, my God. And the flight over on the Mavericks team plane, it was unbelievable too. Again, it was a an adventure I'll never forget the rest of my life. And for like this, I don't know if the Mavericks ever go back to Abu Dhabi, but I'll never forget that as long as I live. I bet. And ran into my boy Steve Harvey. I showed and, my wife the picture. I was like, look who Chris running into over there with his uh white suit with no shirt on. Oh yeah, no <laughs> shirt. Somebody asked me, what was he wearing? I said he was wearing a designer suit with no shirt. Cause he got it like that. You should have seen the shoes. Oh, his show, his imagine. shoes were just shiny clean. Yeah. Steve Harvey. Uh from the last seven two CA is famous, famous, low key. It ain't low key. Chris Arnold is famous, famous, okay? Oh, that just have an interesting job. Uh, we need we need the book is what we need uh, so we can detail all of these amazing stories. But, no, it looked like it was an incredible time over there, uh, obviously, with the NBA, you know, expanding mm-hmm. its global reach and wanting to do so even further. Oh, real quick, on the camels, because they would let people ride the camels, five people. They had five camels. Mm-hmm. And five so Cuban got on the camel. All the players got on the camel. Kyrie got on the camel. I did not see Luca get on the camel. Uh, Luca is six foot eight. Hey Luca, hey you sit your ass down. You don't need no camel ride. He's, you be all right. I think you be all right. I think Luca and Derek Lively were eye to eye with some of them camels. <laughs> Just eye to eye. It's crazy. That's another Hall of Fame edition. CA stories confidential. I'm glad you had a great time. It looked like it was a lot of fun. I do have jet. Like, those flights were 16 hours apiece. I did sleep on the flights, but, man, my body clock is completely backwards. Uh, Abu Dhabi is nine hours ahead of Dallas-Fort Worth. So if it was, uh, like, nine in the morning in in, uh, Abu Dhabi, it would be midnight in Dallas. Oh, boy. So basically right now it's 8 o'clock, well, uh, 7.41 in the morning Abu Dhabi time. <laughs> yeah, I see why you're throwing off like that. I'm throwing, I haven't slept five hours in a row yet. Good gracious. But I will. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to find it this weekend. Mm-hmm. Oh, somebody says Steve Harvey still has a place in Texas. He used to live in Plano for a while because it was easy to go to all his shows and stuff and tape everything, whether it's LA or New York when he was doing Showtime at the Apollo. And uh, Family Feud is taped in Florida and Orlando. And, but he doesn't live in, no, he didn't live in Dallas and playing it for a while he, he was making everything out of la and now it's la and abu dhabi and by the way he does like michael b jordan people are like that was his daughter's he said he's always liked him. he just yeah. didn't work out he said he's a very nice guy he's I, I was trying to find a reason not to like him but he's too nice of a guy <laughs> and, and he is michael b jordan's a really really nice guy yeah seems like it good for him mm-hmm.